Hi guys, here is a unique desktop customization and you can follow up with this transformation and get this done as well. Welcome to this channel. Let's get straight to it. Now, first thing I'm going to do right now is to hide these desktop icons. To do that, we're just going to right click on here, then go to view. Then you're going to select show desktop icons. After doing that, we're going to tidy up this tax bar real quick. And to do that, we're just going to right click on this tax bar and go to taskbar settings. Here in taskbar settings, go ahead and toggle off any of this widget. Okay. Now go on to the search, go to search box. I'm going to change this to hide. Now, as we can see, we have a tidy looking tax bar and uh, we're done with that. Just going to X on this and we're going to proceed to the next step. Now we're going to change this wallpaper. To do that, we're going to go to our browser. Here's the wallpaper I'll be using in this video. And of course you can use any wallpaper of your choice to download this wallpaper. Just go right here to this icon and click on it. Now, once download is completed, we're going to go to the file location and here in downloads, as we can see, we have this image right here, right click on it, set as desktop background. Now we have this beautiful looking wallpaper, and this is just a mere foundation of what we're going to do next. So I'm going to proceed to the next step. I'm going to go back to this browser, go to this website, windorg.net and just proceed to this download icon right here and click on it. Now head back to download folder. So right click on this and run as administrator. Select OK. Standard installation. Next. Next. Now the installation is complete. Go ahead and finish it. Okay, so this is what Windock looks like and first thing you want to do is to go to this explore. Just click on explore and now you have vast majority of options right here and what you can use to customize your Windows desktop. Okay, and the first one I'm going to be choosing right here is the Windows 11 taskbar styler. Go right here to details. Proceed to install. You get this notification right here. Just accept risk and install. Don't worry about it. This is very safe to install. Click on this. Now this installation is complete. We're going to go right here to the settings. Let's click on settings. Here on that theme, we're going to expand this. We have options right here. And out of all these options, we're going to choose translucent taskbar. Okay, just select this one. Now proceed to save settings. Click on save settings. All right, as we can see here, we have this translucent taskbar. But well, we're not done yet. We're going to go to the next one right here. Go back to Explore. Now we're going to go to Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Go to Details. And here we're going to install this as well. Install it. Accept Risk and Install. Now this installation is complete. Go to Settings. I'm going to expand this. I'm going to choose Translucent Start Menu. Okay, just select this and go on to save settings. All right, when I minimize this, go to this task menu right now, you're gonna see, now we have this beautiful looking task menu and it just goes well with this task bar, you know? But we're not done yet, we're going for one more right here and I'm gonna go back to WinOrg and here, I'm gonna go back to explore and down here we have this Windows 11 notification center styler. Go on to details and install this as well install so once that's done we're going to go to settings now i'm going to go to the side again and i'm going to choose translucent shell select that and save settings now if i minimize this and you're over to this right side here you can see this beautiful notification center with blur effect everything is looking good already but we're not done yet we're going to the next step proceed to the browser and now I'm going to download Remeter and Remeter Teams. Okay. First one is the Remeter. Just go ahead to this website, Remeter.net. Proceed to download. After doing that, we'll go for this first Remeter team, which is the Monterey team here in GitHub.com. Go to this right side here. Go on to latest. Okay. Select latest. I'm going to scroll down here a bit and we have Monterey 1.02 Iron Skin at the time of making this video. This is the latest version. Just click on that. Once that's done, go to the next one. We have this Remeter team as well. Just scroll down here and click on this download icon on the left side here. 
Now after doing that, we're going to head on back to download. Because I'm done with this wallpaper and this window, I'm just going to delete this tool right here so we don't mix it up, okay? So now we're going to download Remeter. Just double click on it. Okay, next and install. If you get any notification, yes. After downloading Remeter, you're going to get this uh, welcome theme. Just right click on here and unload skin. Right click on here, unload skin, unload skin for everything. So now we have Remeter installed. Okay, now we're going to add Remeter skins. To do that, we're just going to go back to this download and we're going to download this one. Rubik. Just double click on that. Select install. Okay, now on the desktop, we have this Remeter skin right here. First of all, I'm going to make a slight change. Just going to drag this up real quick. I'm going to remove whatever we don't need. Okay, unload skin for any widget you don't need. Unload it. Right click, unload. Right click, unload skin. Right click, unload skin. There's a little dot here. Just right click it, unload skin. Now we're just going to leave this the way it is. Going to go back again. I'm going to download Monterey. Alright, so now this is the Monterey settings. Going to add some widget to this desktop. And the first widget is this weather. Just toggle it on. I'm just going to drag it to this right side here first. And music. Just drag it here. I'm going to do the volume. Just drag it here. Okay. And first of all, in this uh, Monterey, I'm just going to right click on this music and set this to wide. I'm going to bring this back here. I'm going to set this to medium. Set this to medium as well. So I'm going to bring this one to the right side here. I'm going to bring this down here. And obviously, these widgets are looking too big. And I'm going to make some changes with the size by going to the appearance here on the left side. And I'm going to change it on the 5 to 55. Tap on enter. Now I'm going to change this widget padding to 5. Tap on enter as well. Now we can see we have this cute looking widget and gonna just gonna arrange it nicely right here. Okay, I'm gonna edit this weather, just right click on it, go to edit weather, type in your CD. I'm just gonna type in New York, tap on enter, then save. Alright, so we have this weather, we have this music player, you can play your music and you can take it back and forth. And here we have this volume which allows you to increase or decrease your volume easily. Okay, I think that's all about this Monterey. So I'm just going to X on this Monterey settings. And now we're going to go back to this one. I'm going to change these colors right here. On that color one, just going to select this one. I'm going to change this code right here. For her, this first one I'm going to change to 37. And go to the next one right here. I'm going to change it to 10. I'm going to change B to 245. Click on OK. Now, as you can see, we have this blue color which matches well with what we have here on the wallpaper. Okay, uh, we're not done yet. We're going to do this for the second color as well. On that color 2, I'm going to select this one and I'm going to change this code. First one is going to be changed to 250 and I'm going to change the next one to 251. For B, we're going to change to 252. After doing that, just go ahead and click on OK. Now we can see we have a more attractive looking color right here, which matches well with what we have on this wallpaper. After doing all that, we're just going to close this settings. Now go on to Remeter, go right here, expand this and select this Remeter icon. Expand this Rubik. Now here you want to scroll down to the visualizer, expand this, select it and load. Okay, now when I speak, you can see some movement going on around here. And this is basically what you'll be getting when you play music on your computer. Just going to minimize this. So now I'm going to adjust this. It's looking too big. Just going to drag it up right here. This is where we want it to be. Just scroll on your mouse to reduce the size. I think this size is good enough. No, it's not. Just going to scroll down a bit more. I'm just going to put it right here. This is looking good actually. And if you want to reduce the size of these as well, just scroll down on your mouse. If you want to increase it, just scroll up on your mouse. That's it about that. 
so that will be all about the remit and remit skin it's going to go to the next step okay first going to close this settings now we head on back to the browser and here we proceed to this nexus i'm going to scroll down here in winstep.net i'm going to download this free one here okay just click on this now go to the next link right here i'm going to download this one as well that's completed now we head on back to download folder now first of all we're going to extract this nexus zip file just highlight on it right click on it i'm using winra here i'm just going to extract it right here here is the Nexus setup, right click on it and run as administrator. Okay, accept, next, next, then install. Uh, proceed to finish. So after installing Nexus, you're going to get this by default, but this is not the final result. So we're going to go back to download and now we're going to extract these dog icons for nexus let's extract this just highlight on these dog icons and cut it now go to window c I'm gonna paste it right here okay after doing that we're gonna head on back to nexus i'm gonna select this first icon right here click on nexus and we're gonna go to advanced Right here, we're going to select Restore. So now I'm going to locate the icon by going to the Window C. Then I'm going to select these dock icons. Click on that. Select this backup. Click on OK. All right. Now, as you can see, we have this beautiful looking dock on the left side here. And after doing that, go on to General. I'm going to select this Run Nexus at Windows Startup. Okay, this is important. Every time you reboot your computer, Nexus is just going to appear automatically, okay? You don't have to go and start booting it every time you restart your computer. Click on Apply, then select OK. So that's all about this Nexus, the final step right now, guys. So now one more thing we're going to do right now is to change this cursor. We need a unique cursor to match with this setup we have here. So we're going to go back to the browser. I'm going to go to the last link we have here and guys all the links I'll be using in this video will be given in the description okay here in deviantart.com we have glib cursors one thing you should know guys before you can download anything from this website you need to create a free account okay it's absolutely free after creating your free account go to this download icon right here and click on it and we head on back to downloads I'm going to extract this real quick so here is the folder we extracted from this glib cursors. Proceed, open the folder. Now we have this install right here. Just highlight on it, right click on it and select install. Okay, we're just gonna X on this, close it. Just right click on your desktop and select personalize. Go on to themes. On that themes, we're gonna go to mouse cursor window default, select that. And right here on that scheme, proceed to expand this. Now these are all the cursors installed on this computer, okay? So you're going to look for the actual one, which is Glib, okay? This is Glib, which we just installed. Just select that, click on apply, select yes. All right, as you can see, we have this beautiful raindrop looking cursor, which is looking pretty cool, by the way. After doing that, go ahead and click on OK. So that will be all for now guys i hope you find this video helpful well if it is do well to subscribe to this channel leave this video a like and also drop your comments at the comment section have a nice day and peace out